Hi guys, welcome back to the Geek Review channel. Well, in this video, we are going to learn how to safely root and unroot Asus Zenfone 5 that's currently running on Android Lollipop 5.0 operating system, and the version is version 3.23.40.60. Well, this even works for version 3.23.40.52 Android Lollipop. So now let's go ahead, guys. The first thing that we need to do is we need to take our phone. And we need to download a good antivirus software for the phone because once you root your phone and you go on the internet, your phone is exposed to all possible virus. So you just need to protect your phone. So download a good antivirus software. In my case, I have downloaded a, a vast mobile antivirus system software. And uh, after you do that, you need to download the following applications. You need to download Root Checker and you can even download CPU-Z. Well, you need these applications in order to uh, know the root status of your phone just for an example if i open cpu z and if i click on system out here we can see that the root access it says no the phone is not yet been rooted so once we root our phone we can come and check the root status of the phone so now comes the once you have downloaded this application now there's a very important step that you need to follow before routing your phone you need to make sure that you switch off any internet connection on your phone just switch off your wi-fi switch off your mobile data 2g 3g anything because while you're routing your phone there should be no internet connection on your phone next you need to go to settings on your phone and you need to go to about and click on software information well uh, you we are doing this because we need to activate the developer option on our phone so here we need to click on build number seven times so once you do that you will activate your developer option since i've already done that now let's uh, go back to settings so out here we can see uh, we have activated developer option which was not here before so we click on developer option and uh, we need to click on USB debugging and keep it ready so now once we have followed all these steps we need to download the Asus Zenfone Lollipop rootkit that's offered to you the link has been offered to you in the description of the video and once you download the zip folder and you unzip and open it, you'll find the following drivers and you'll find Zenfone rootkit lollipop folder. So first you need to install ADB driver installer on your laptop and then you need to in uh, install Intel Android DRV setup. Well, there are two uh, versions offered to you of the software because since I have a Windows 10 operating system on my laptop version 1.10 of intel android drv setup worked for me and if you have if you are running windows 7 or anything uh, windows xp windows 7 or windows 8 so version 1.1.5 can be helpful for you or you can even try installing 1.10 so once you have installed both these drivers on your laptop the next Thing that we need to do is we need to open the rootkit folder and out here now we need to connect our phone to our laptop through the usb cable so just do that connect your phone to your laptop and the moment you do that notification will pop up on your phone regarding usb debugging so say that the usb debugging is connected so we need to click on always allow from this computer and press ok and during this process you won't lose any data on your phone so be rest assured and go ahead with the process and while the phone is rooting just make sure that you don't touch the usb cable the phone has to be connected to your laptop during the routing process so just be careful about that so now we'll click on root and once we get the screen we need to press enter 
and uh, for your convenience I have recorded the entire routing, routing process well this process is hardly a minute or two minute process so your phone goes into boot mode as you see the normal boot mode is on So now as you see the it's showing rebooting and finish and the total time is taken is to the point three one three seconds. So that's it. So at this point of time you can press enter on your laptop and you can wait for your phone to restart completely and then you can unplug your USB cable. The moment your phone restarts, you need to connect your phone to the internet. You will get a notification that the super su binary needs to be updated so you need to click on that you need to click on continue if you have a custom recovery like twrp or cwm that can be used to install the su binary this is recommended for stc device so here what we have to do is we need to click on normal don't click on twrp slash cwm click on normal this is a, again a 30 second update and once this is updated only then you get root access so you make sure that you update super su once your phone restarts so now it says installation success it is recommended to reboot your device now now after restarting the device let's check if the device has been rooted or not so first we can click on root checker and click on verify root click on grant and here you go congratulations root access is properly installed on this device so that's it guys, it's that simple. Let's check out CPU-Z as well. So as of now, it says that the root access, the phone has root access. So that's it guys, you all have finally successfully rooted your phone. So we will proceed towards unrooting the device and one more and one more way to find out if the phone is rooted or not if you have this super su application on your phone that means you have successfully rooted your phone so now we are moving towards unrooting the phone for that we need to get into settings we need to scroll down and we need to click on full unroot if cleanup succeeds root will be lost and this app will close automatically in a few seconds so we need to click on continue and there you go now all that we need to do is we need to restart the phone so after restarting the phone it's again time to check the root status of the phone so we'll go to cpu z we'll click on system and there you go guys now again the root access here it says there is no root access so in this video we saw how to successfully and safely root asus zenfone 5 lollipop operating system and how to unroot it so if you like the video subscribe to my channel we are always here to help you and do like the video and do share the video thanks a lot and bye from geeky review